earlier this year, we asked our audience, what's your number one challenge with anti-fatigue mats? And interestingly enough, 40% said that trip hazards come from trying to piece together rectangle mats. So you can see that kind of in that first picture there. This is a traditional approach to anti-fatigue mats. Um, so you can either buy rectangles and piece them together. You could perhaps buy a roll mat and then try and make cuts yourself or else maybe use some kind of modular system, uh, which tend to either be a hard kind of plastic design or else they're, they're soft, they don't stay together well. And then along with that, you get the extra time having to piece the modular tiles together. Um, so we're passionate about making a one piece custom design that fits any work area perfectly. Um, so what we're getting out of the um, responses to this question is that really you can have, you could have the best mat in the world, but if it doesn't fit the area well, um, you're still going to have those challenges and trip hazards present. So we're out here to try and address that um, through the use of AcroSketch and put a tool into your hands so that you can also be involved in addressing those issues. So really, that's what speaks to why custom is important. And that's the catalyst for AcroSketch is to eliminate that number one concern that our audience is finding. So what is AcroSketch um, and, and why should you use it? It's a precision mat drawing tool that we created in order to make designing custom mats as easy and as fast as ordering a standard shape mat. It's really that simple. Um, any shape, size, angles, cutouts, features, and it gives you full control. Um, it's immediate, it's transparent. There's no, um, you know, there's there's nothing behind this that's gonna trip you up. It is. It is totally what you get um, as you're using the tool. So it came about um, a number of years ago when I was um, finishing up a site visit and I was measuring an area that looked similar to what you see here on the screen. And um, as I was leaving, it just came home to me that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that could benefit from a tool that would give them the ability to make a mat to fit this area. I know I can do it. I know I can come home and I can draw this up and I can provide a quote and we can solve the problem for the end user. Uh, but what if we put that into the hands of those who are actually on the floor, who actually have these situations present every day? Why couldn't that be a thing? Um, and that was that was really what led to us designing AcroSketch. We had a few um, different variations as we've gone along. Some of you may remember the old magic plan version and um, you know the the initial launch of AcroSketch. And as as you would remember if you do, it's developed, it's evolved, it's always getting better. And we're committed to that path as well. There's going to be a lot more coming, a lot more changes and a lot of improvements um, from the feedback we get. Uh, with that, I'm going to jump into a training on how to use the tool. It will just take a few minutes, um, so bear with me as we go. This is a mat that we recently designed for Renewal by Anderson. You can see the sketch here on the screen. Pretty rough and ready. It's not looking pretty at this point, but it will in a minute. With that, we're going to jump into the design tool. So this lives on our web website, acromat.com. So just back up here. So one thing I was going to share with you as you jump to the drawing screen is that the scale of the chart um, is good to set it at 12 inches so that's in the settings here so set your grid size to 12 inches is doesn't matter if it's not perfect as you draw your shape what we're looking for is to get the shape correct and we'll refine the dimensions in the second step um, if you try and get your dimensions exact as you're drawing it can it can be a little tricky so it's better to do that um, after you've got your shape shape cor correct so we're just going to pick a point, any point, and make a start as we draw. So you just click once and then drag away from that point, and you'll see the dimensions start to show. As I said, we're just trying to get close. We're not trying to get it perfect at this point. We're just getting the shape. So we're following the sketch that we had. And you want to get 
you know, as close as you can within the 12 inch increments, but it doesn't have to be perfect by any means because we can refine this as we come back. Once you click back to that last point, you'll see it creates a shape. All the dimensions are now added um, and it grays the shape out so you know it's complete. Um, from here, we're going to actually go ahead and refine all these dimensions and we can do that into one inch increments to get it exactly to the way our sketch is drawn. So um, you can zoom in using the toggle at the top or else you can hit the control button and use the scroll wheel on your mouse. And that's going to zoom in so we have some clarity around the dimensions that we're working with. So I'm going to start in this top corner and work around the map this way. So we first dimension we've got is 34. And our depth of this first cutout is going to be 6 inches. And the width is going to be 4. And you can see this is getting pretty tight. You can zoom in you know, quite far so you can see the detail of each cutout. Um, they're one inch increments and you just move it by click just hovering over a line and just dragging that so the next dimension is supposed to be 82 so we're right on there we're going to do another six inch cut out here by four we're going to move over to this side and this one needs to be 32 so you'll see the actual dimensions are changing as I'm dragging the line, so it makes it easy to know where you're at. <clears throat> we need this one to be 86. This one's going to be 60. And if I'm going to make that 60, I'll probably need to move this line first just to give myself enough room. Then this one's going to be 47. We're going to do another six inches here. I'm going to bring that one back up to six as well. And we want four inches again. So all the cutouts seem to be consistent on this one. And we're going to have 37 here. Over this way, we want 96. And you'll notice we have an angle that in this design that we're trying to create. And this will be a 45 degree angle. As you can tell, that's not 45 right now. So we're going to come back to the angle at the end and get that how we want it after we finish these other couple of dimensions. So we want that one to be 70. So now it's time for the angle. Um, so I want to make this line here that's highlighted. I want to make that 84 inches. So I can use my tool up here and I can lock point B. So that point is not going to move. And I can just adjust this dimension to the 84 inches I'm looking for. And you'll notice that creates the angle that we need. Same with this one. Um, I want this dimension to be 69. And I want point B to move in this case. So I'll lock point A and adjust this to 69. And then that gets me the 45 degree angle that I'm looking for based on the sketch that I have in front of me. So as you can see, we now have a completed shape. Um, you've got your cutouts, your angle. Everything is set to the correct dimensions as we had sketched. Now the next thing I want to do is add my yellow borders. So this would be anywhere that people are on and off the mat, any entrance or access points. And you would do that with the paint bucket tool here. If you click it once, it's going to be a yellow bevel. And we're going to add that to the sides that we would like to have that included on the mat. So in this case, it's going to be these sides. The other sides are up against a wall or a piece of equipment. So in that case, it's just going to have a, a square edge. So that's the design is now done. I will come back, back and touch on a few more of these tools here in a minute. But for now, we're done with the design of this mat. As we scroll down, we can choose our mat type, um, color if that option is available. Um, as we already added a yellow border up above, the tool already knows that. We don't have to recreate that one. Um, the surface, we can add drainage holes if we'd like. 
And right here is the non-slip backing. We can add that one if we'd like to include that in the mat. And this one is going to be OMOL's webinar mat. So area name, anything that makes sense to you where this mat is going to be placed. Once you're done, you acknowledge that you have everything configured as you want, because we will make the mat exactly as you've designed. And then up in the top here, you have the option to hit the print button. Once you do that, that gives you a chance to download it, save it as a PDF. Once you have everything done, you can hit submit and close, and that's going to add this configuration into your shopping cart. So if you need to come back to it later or um, make any changes, it'll be sitting right here in your shopping cart on the website. <clears throat> so you can see the configuration. Uh, we're going to jump in and click the edit button just so I can show you a couple of the additional tools. This will bring you right back to where we left off. So a couple of the additional tools that you might find useful in AcroSketch. Um, the first one here is a cutout tool. So if you have a table or a piece of equipment or even a post in the middle of your area that you need to wrap around, you can do a cutout in the mat. So you click that tool, um, locate where your cutout needs to be, and you can drop that in right here. And then you can, uh, again, adjust that to the correct dimensions um, for whatever the cutout is you're making. The bevel tool, if you click it twice, that'll give you a black bevel. So if you didn't want the yellow bevel, but you just wanted a plain black one, you could use that. And you'll notice that the line goes black in that case. And that's for the just a plain black bevel instead of yellow. The tape measure tool allows you to measure point to point. So if you wanted to know what that distance was, you can just drop a measurement in like that. And then that gives you um, extra dimensions that might not necessarily be shown on the layout as it is. The seam tool is for an unbonded seam. So if, for instance, you this was going to be going around a column that went to the ceiling, obviously you wouldn't be able to wrap the mat around. You could um, include an unbonded seam. So when you got the mat, there would be a cut in it, so you could wrap it around that piece of equipment without having it to make a cut yourself. And then lastly, here is the cable cover tool. So if you need to add a cable cover into the mat, you can drop that one in by clicking on the cable cover tool. So let's say you had a cord or a channel that was going through the area here, and you wanted to put that in, you could also do a cable cover in the area as well and then that just drops in there so that's kind of the wrap on most of the tools for the acro sketch i i realized we ran through it really quickly um so any particular questions or training that any of you need or your teams need we're here for that um, we're continuing to build and evolve on this tool as we go so basically here's a look at what that mat looks like that we just drew up you can see the sketch if you didn't have it in front of you that's what i copied off of was just that hand rough hand sketch and all we needed was the shape and the dimension of each leg and then we we're able to create that accurately within acro sketch you can see the finished look at how that looks it's a very clean uh, mat you can see where we added those yellow borders the angle um, and all the cutouts that we made as well to go around those feet all right, first uh, question from Rob here, which is a great question, one we often get. How do you do round cutouts? It's a good question. The answer to that, Rob, is that AcroSketch works for about 98% of all custom mats we make. There are a couple that don't fit that, and that is the ones that have the round cutouts. AcroSketch doesn't have a way to make a round circle. And the reason for that is that our round circles are actually made from a series of straight lines. Um, because if you can imagine trying to bevel a, around a corner, it's, it's a tough challenge. So we draw those up using an internal software um, called SketchUp. If you do have those, you're able to submit them to us. We use the same, um, you know, the quoting process is the same. The turnaround is quick, but we have to draw those internally. So there is a couple of things AcroSketch can't do, and that's one of them is a, is a round circle. So if you have a need for those, just forward us your drawing 
we'll make the drawing for you and send it back for confirmation. So that's a great question. Um, circles are always a, an interesting one. We have another question here about the, from Sarah, this is about the um, dimensions. Can you do half inch increments? So AcroSketch is designed for a one inch tolerance. So you'll notice as you're adjusting the lines that it is always in a one inch increment. And so that is our tolerance. If you have a half inch dimension, um, just you want to round that to the nearest inch. So if you're doing a cutout, make the cutout just a little bit bigger than what you um, are actually needing. So you've got enough room to, to set it around that, that cutout area. Um, so one inch increments is the, is the thing with AcroSketch. Uh, looks like Rich is asking about the uh, most unique mat we've ever made, shape and size. Goodness, every day is different around here. So we it's, it's one of the exciting things about going, you know, having production right here is we're able to go and see the works of art that they make. And every day there's something unique and different. Um, no two days are the same. So we've done mats that are, you know, hundreds of square feet as one piece we've done uh we've done unique shapes we actually made one once in the shape of a football um that went into a a bar that was designed in a football shape so that was that was a pretty unique one i guess uh the warranty ron is asking a question what's the warranty for custom mats our warranty is really simple two two years full replacement and it covers three different things it covers that the mat is not going to compress and get flat and lose its cushion. It covers that the edges are never going to curl up and become a trip hazard. And it covers that if we make any bonds um, to make the mat to the shape and size you need, any bonds are covered under the warranty. We guarantee that they won't come apart. So super easy warranty, two-year full replacement. Um, we don't ask too many questions on that one. Um, if there is an issue, let us know, and we'll be here for you as well. So.